Hey, it's Kim at Geranium Lake Flowers and welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm already giggling. This is gonna be such an awesome day. So if you love flowers and creative projects, please subscribe and hit that little alert bell to get our latest videos. Today is all about tulips. Do you love this? They are so amazeballs. And if you are not in love with tulips, it's okay. You're gonna fall in love. As always, special thanks to Bill Duran Company for always providing the most beautiful flowers. And let's get started. We're gonna do tulips four ways, right? So first we have this uh, hand-tied bouquet that I'll show you in a sec, but it's just gonna go in a simple base. This cylinder, this six by six cylinder, is just going to be color blocked, which you're like, what does that mean? I'll show you, I promise. <laughs> this beautiful 10 inch, I think it's 10 inch or 12 inch bubble bowl is gonna be kind of a more modern, minimal with wrapped tulips in the vase. And then this fabulous vintage vase, it's so cool with this botanical print, um, is going to be kind of the, the wow factor arrangement at the end. So let's check out these varieties. This plum one is a traditional single petaled variety. Right next to it, you see that beautiful red. It's kind of a double petal variety. And next to that is a duck's bill shape, sometimes called a quilled tulip. Let's move on to these fancy frizzled edge ones. They look like flower hair. <laughs> I know, they're all frizzly and fuzzy and so cool. My favorites are the peony princess varieties because you guessed it, they look like peonies. The most regal of all tulips are French tulips and sometimes varieties combine with parrot tulips. Today, this one is called an Avignon parrot. Let's get started with our first bouquet and this is just super simple. Check out these white frizzled tulips. I love them so much. So I'm just gonna make like a bridal bouquet and I'm gonna strip kind of the old you know, kind of lower greenery just to make it a little bit cleaner and a little less bulky. I get this request all the time, just simple white tulips. And um, I'm doing stuff without thinking, but I just cut the end of this aspidistra leaf and I have the small end there and I'm going to wrap this bridal bouquet or this bouquet with this leaf. Oh my God, it's amazing. Check that out. It's so simple, right? It looks like a little, I don't know, bow tie for flowers or something. Um, I grabbed some tiny little pearl pins and I'm just pinning them just very tailored with two little pins and that will hold it. It looks so good. So if you're getting married and you need a quick tip and you know, wanna make your bridal bouquet in 10 seconds, this is it, right? So, or you can just carefully just put it in the vase and look how fabulous that looks. It's just like effortless and breezy, right? And then you guys, if you want the wow factor, check out this cylinder. It's this beautiful cylinder. <laughs> and I know you're gonna think I'm a genius. Check this out. Okay, woo! I love it so much. I mean, who can argue with that? It's beautiful. Okay, we're on to the second arrangement. This is color block tulips, kind of monochromatic mono flower, which means uh, obviously the same flower. So we're gonna use single petal tulips, the frizzled tulips, and then these cool duck bills one. Um, so cool, this is really easy, you guys. So you're gonna take, I think I have about 10 here and um, a rubber band. And the way that I do it is I hook it on here and spin it around, right? So we're just doing three different kinds of tulips clustered in this color blocked way um, in each face. I see this one has no head, so I'm gonna pull him out. And again, um, I'll show you that rubber band technique because it's so much easier. You just hook it on the edge and wrap it around, right? And then you're just gonna stick it in. I'm kind of doing it kind of staggered like that. Same sort of thing. This is about 10 stems of the frizzled tulips, this pink and white variegated one. Again, hook, spin, and hook again. <laughs> if you don't wanna see the little uh, rubber band at the bottom, then I'm using this umbrella fern. I always call it star fern, but we're just gonna tuck it around and make a little edge. It's so pretty, it just lightens it up and you can see by this side, you guys, it makes it fabulous. And you don't so much see that rubber band and wow, you're done. For this third arrangement, we have this bubble bowl and it is a 12 inch bubble bowl. And this is gonna be more of a modern kind of wow factor, really tastes like five flowers. 
So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some black rocks in there just so it gives it a nice base. Um, I have about two inches of water, but these black rocks look beautiful. You can put any kind of glass rock, pebbles, river rock, anything. Just kind of a, a you can kind of see, I just put one little simple layer. If you want the flowers to kind of stand up, then you could put your flower frog in there today. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, so we'll see if we need the flower frog. And then I have my beautiful frizzle white tulips. I'm so in love with these. I have some lily grass, and then I also have some yellow twig dogwood, which we could spin around at the bottom. We'll see how we like it. So um, if you guys could just sit back and we can design together and we'll see what it looks like. So for these sticks, I'm gonna kind of bend them in my hand to kind of pre-bend them so they have a nice, beautiful um, angle. And I'm gonna actually put this at the bottom as much as I can, the base of the, of the base, the base of the base. And now we're gonna add our tulips. So it's just really simple, you guys, and they're kind of staggered. So the movement of the flower is what this arrangement is all about. So you can kind of see that I'm putting it in like sequentially, if that makes sense, or just, you know, kind of to show that it's wrapping around the inside of the base. It's so beautiful. Oh my God, I love it so much. So uh, yeah, so this one is a little bit more open. So he, I wanna make sure his little face doesn't look like he's smashed against the window. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe we do want this one. We could do kind of like this. That looks really cool. We could kind of just do something kind of slouchy over there. And then we could even put this lily grass like that. This is so fun. I'm kind of getting into the zone. The other option is let's see what it looks like here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that flower frog. Um, I was considering whether to give this a fresh cut, but we'll just put him down there. I don't know, is he too upright? Because let's see if it looks a little better at an angle. Yeah, I think that looks better. And then this beautiful grass kind of to mimic the shape. I'll go ahead and put him around. So you can tell that this is super minimal, super beautiful. Let's see what it looks like. And uh, if the lily grass makes it too busy, then you can um, go ahead and take it out. But you can kind of see I'm wiping down the base. Okay, my lily grass folded, so I'm gonna fold it back over. Okay, it's beautiful. So I don't know, what do you guys think? I'll spin it around because it looks really good. I feel like I want to add one more, but okay, we're done. Blah, blah, blah. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, we're on our fourth arrangement. This is the wow factor, what we've been waiting for. And for those of you who think you cannot uh, do flowers, you can. I know you can. So just shut off your brain and you can do it. So I have this beautiful acacia. And I'm stripping the greenery because you know we don't like the greenery in the water. I'm gonna give it a nice uh, cut. And just super simple. You can even have no greenery, you guys, because this is the French parrot tulips we're gonna use. And they are amazeballs. I mean, they are drop dead gorgeous. So I'm just gonna put three pieces of greenery. And did you see how easily I just like plunk them in, right? So now we're on to the tulips. Um, this vase is the first vase, or the first thing I bought ever on my first trip to England. And it was kind of a big deal because I got a job importing antiques from England and Holland. So check this out. Okay, I'm so tempted. <laughs> I know, I know you guys are dying. You can do this, so don't think so much. But anyway, this vase was really special. And um, so here I go again. <laughs> I know, it's so funny, right? Um, so this space was special because, you know, it was a big deal. I was 23 and I was like, had this job to buy antiques 
in England and it was my first time. And so anyway, I saved up my money and I bought this beautiful vase. And that was a while ago, that was like 30 years ago. And you can kind of see the beautiful texture and it looks so good with these French parrot tulips. So the thing about these tulips is they move, they ebb and they flow and they dance and they do this cool thing. So that's why you just let them do your thing, their thing and you don't touch them, okay? And you can see how beautiful they are. You really don't need much and you don't need to think at all. I might put a little bit more greenery. And then someone was asking me about drooping tulips. So my grandma, she always put a penny in the water. And so before we started this video, I Googled, does a penny really work? And it said, no. <laughs> but that was like scientific America or something. But my grandma swore by it. She also swore that for tulips, a little dash of vodka. I'm not sure if that's really true either. But what I do to avoid droopy flowers these are actually droopy on purpose, and you can see that they're firm. But what I do, this is a quick tip. So I take my flowers at nighttime, and I either put them over a kitchen table with a drop chandelier, leave that light on, and then the tulips in the night will magically go up. It's really cool. Another thing you can do is you can put it on your stove top and have the hood light on, you know, the fan. And then again, make sure your kitchen is dark and the light, they'll follow the light. So I think this is beautiful as it is. If you wanna put more tulips, you're welcome, but I kinda of like minimal, but uh, so that is six flowers and I'm from the odd school. So I'm gonna go ahead and use seven. It looked good with five, but I don't know, this color is beautiful. So I don't know, I'm in love, thank you. Okay, are you guys in love with tulips? I know you are. They, they are so versatile, so inexpensive, so beautiful, long lasting, and check out our tulips four different ways. So we've got our hand tied bouquet that came out beautiful. And when I put it in that big vase, so good. The color block tulips with the bunches, that was so easy. You're gonna look like a rock star, you guys. And then this bubble bowl, it's so pleasing. And literally, I think it's six flowers, seven flowers. So, so beautiful. And of course, this botanical vase with the elegant regal French parrot tulips. So if you like this, please like, subscribe, watch more. We love you so much and see you in the next video. I love you. Bye.